and you know decompacted I'm not lying look at that see see how much I'm not lying this is gravel but look I can come in with my hands before we were suffering to come in with a hoe forget about sustainability you want to enrich ecosystems every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance keep it pruned we are cultivating abundance not a problem to cut down trees the problem is not planting them hey what's up welcome back to another agroforestry academy video here today we're very lucky once again to be down here in situ semenci uh, you know this is from juan pereira agriculture producer teacher master you know he's definitely been my teacher over the past 10 years and of so many others and this area here i'm particularly thrilled about it it really looks like there's nothing to it if there's nothing to it just some eucalyptus some acacia manja you know basically eucalyptus and acacias uh, you know some old bananas and uh, things like that so there's nothing to it but the deal is i was here when we planted here uh about four years ago yeah no more than four years 2017 yep about that long it was actually during a course where Ennis Getch was you know conducting his course here and uh, actually Felipe and I were both uh in this plot here Felipe was a uh, supervisor and I was like his assistant <laughs> and uh we, we 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 were dealing with this plot right here and what's so amazing about it let me this was all stone rock stone you know gravel to to the core to the bone <laughs> in ways where we really suffered you know getting our hose down and, and you know opening you know we didn't even open beds you know we didn't even open beds for the trees we just you know made those little holes just locally just local manure no manure like generalized manure spread everywhere nothing like that um at the time it was planted mombasa grass there was some cheeky uh, squash and things like that but really the deal here was the mombasa grass uh the eucalyptus the casamanjas and uh makuna yeah with the black velvet beans right and uh, the mexican sunflower what was the deal here the deal is to build soil to create you know they don't need this area to produce this there's other areas and what this the intention here was just to recuperate this area you know just recover it and uh for those four years it, this was just basically abandoned abandoned to the point where if you walked in here you know you couldn't get through basically it's just thick thick matter just thick thick green you know just closed off completely and you you know you kind of peek in there and you're like oh my god what's happening oh my god you're like that's amazing that's some that's, that's a lot of mass growing on gravel on some rock kind of soil and then you know you just appreciate it it's as you come into the farm and you look to your right and you think wow well because you know i knew the situation here and then you know you could see uh, other grasses things like uh, the elephant grass as well booming in here and then you know I was, i've been always curious about this area you know and uh yeah juan this year four years later is coming with a tractor just bulldozed everything over in between the main tree lines which is basically you know high dense uh you know mukuna with mexican sunflower and you know i knew that the result would be here so much so i'm doing this in my house but uh, i'm one year into it uh yeah, there's some lightning coming, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let me hang in there. Let me hang in there. So I always knew this was gonna come through and about you know, just waiting to see the results and now we can actually see. Look at that. Look at that soil there. I'm just gonna you know, anywhere you go here, you've just got that crumble like structured soil. This is extremely impressive if you consider what we started with and you know there was no labor there was no management here it was just abandoned full of you know aggressive 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 species you know the mexican sunflowers were, were here you know everything that people fear was here you know the macunas with the black velvet beans just abandoned can you imagine that how it just 
got the toe and look at that amazing amount of soil and everywhere you go and even as I as I've come in here even as I've come in here and you know I'm stepping on the soil you know like I'm gonna step on it I feel so bad because it's like I'm compacting it. it's so fluffy it's such fluffy soil it's really decompacted soil because it's just been left to you know for the for the creatures to work the soil themselves and obviously now they've bulldozed it you know maybe about a month ago and you get all these little re-sprouts and things like that and obviously these trees need to come down and reset the system so that we can really work this land now but this was a proper case where we're talking about gravel all right and we let nature work we let nature do its thing based on macuna mexican sunflowers and uh and i know there was bananas initially we, you know in the beginning they chopped them down but really they've been kind of abandoned as well so it's just looking pretty neat to be honest and I, and I really felt to share this with you guys how you know nature will look after look look at that look at what's happening here look at these kind of soils it's alive look look at those babies there wow don't have to go far to find life in the soil I can't see anything like too far out because it's, it's bare at the moment isn't it it's bare but I mean you can appreciate that I mean I could do this all day long but you can appreciate that <laughs> I mean th this is worth a thousand words you know I'm stepping in it I'm stepping on some soft soil that you can now come back and do some serious agriculture some rich you know some definitely definitely vibrant with minerals already and you know decompacted I'm not lying look at that see see how much I'm not lying this is gravel but look I can come in with my hands before we were suffering to come in with the hoe oh wow anywhere you look anywhere you look ah oh, the worm done a good job in, in escaping done a good job in escaping but you know the first place where I put my hand in already these worms popping out that's some real impressive look just with my hands so I'm really glad about this because I'm one year into the system where I've done something similar where you know where, where you get closer to the valleys you tend to get uh, these you know the gravel near where we live here uh, drawings in one valley I'm on the other side of the valley so I've done a similar thing I'm one year down the line and I'm really encouraged uh then I, you know i'm gonna form i'm gonna use my full six and a half hectares in my house because you know that last one hectare worth of gravel eventually is gonna be black soil so i'm looking forward to that all right guys i didn't ask for it in the middle i didn't get on your case on that but do like the video please do like the video especially if you like the video if you appreciate you know following this and you know you might want to do this in your own house so not in vain i'm sure a lot of people are going to be encouraged by this too like i am so you know share it you know sign up to the channel man because then you'll be the first to know when you get the new videos out you know what i'm saying and uh stay tuned all right stay tuned with us cool activate the bell you know every weekend we've got a new video for you all right so till next time from the agroforest academy crew this one's you